Hello. I'm aware I've been saying toile incorrectly, so please bear with me as I get my teeth in and start pronouncing it how it should be. Thank you to kind subscribers who have helped me to work out the correct way to say it. Hope you enjoy my video. Hello and welcome to episode five of Sequin Girly Creates. Welcome if you are a follower, a subscriber and hello if you are new. This is my channel where I share my sewing journey, other creative activities, thrift flipping, charity shopping, all sorts of different things that I get up to and that's why it's Sequin Girly Creates. You will find sometimes there are bits of furniture flipping or other crafts and things too. This week is a bit of a sewing uh, slash making thoughts update week for you. Uh, if you'd like to see others, I did my Make 9 plans and my Make 9 update. I will have also done uh, that you can see a Me Made May plans and thoughts. And also there's quite a few shorts. So if you want to see some very specific little projects, you can see those too. Let's start with what I'm wearing today. So today I am wearing my Myosotis dress and thank you to Liz Hit the Baker who sews. She's got an entire video which I'll put in the links below about all her Myosotis dresses and I went for the collar. I know there's a hack without the collar but I went for the collar. I went for the plain sleeve, not the sleeve with the ruffle because I'm not sure how I felt about that. And then I went for the skirt obviously with pockets where are you pocket there's with the pockets but not the ruffle on the hem but what I did do on the hem was oh you can see my joggers underneath was put rick rack along the hem I didn't do the ruffle at the bottom I did lengthen it quite a lot because the pattern is originally I think above the knee and that is not a, a style that I like and I think suits me so I lengthened the skirt by about this much by about at least six inches I will put a picture up here um, or a video of me wearing this the belt I'm wearing is a charity shop find and it was originally Topshop and I think it is even leather. And the necklace I'm wearing was a charity shop find as well. And my earrings were a gift from someone so I don't know where they came from. So that's what I'm wearing today. I'm really pleased, oh by the way these buttons that I've got on here, I went for two big chunky buttons. Our buttons I have, I have jars of colour themed buttons. So these are second hand at some point from somewhere. So that's one of the things I've been up to. It's uh, sewing this. This is actually a toil ready to make it out of one of my me, my Make 9 fabrics. I'm not sure which one. So this was a it has become a wearable toil, which I'm delighted with. It wasn't originally the plan, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. The fabric, I want to say Dalston Mills from last year I'm not 100% but I won't say that but there is annoyingly this is why it's a toil and why I did it as a toil is I'll just show you there's a bit in the fabric where you can see like a line here and this goes all the way around the back so I have thought about putting rick rack along there excuse my nails I've been gardening rick rack along that to hide it I don't know that it notices anyway but it has got like a sort of like a it's not particularly sharp the colour so it's definitely like a wearable toil, but at least I know this works for me and I'm really happy. So I'm already planning my next one with a bit of fabric I found. And if you can't guess where, Oxfam Superstore in Oxford. Amazing sort of like linen blend. It's sort of a mint colour, bit of a theme going on if you've watched a lot of my videos. With like these black heart semicircles on and these other colours. So I'm actually going to make the top as one part and then the skirt as separate and I'm going to do a placket up the front of the skirt I found a pattern to help with that so I will put some pictures in of where I've got to with that so you can see and if you want to see when I have finished that if you follow me on Instagram I am sequin girly you'll be able to see um, when I finished straight away because I won't be able to resist not sharing and uh, that's the second one I'm making so using this as the toil meant I could think about how to make the collar and etc next and then things started to evolve so I really liked having this sort of like dress like this 
and if you've seen my previous videos on my make nine update you will see that i made a toil of the patina blouse then i made the patina blouse in a matching blue and green fabric that coordinated and then i turned the patina blouse into a shirt dress using the pencil skirt pattern that i made one of my other make nines in so i've already made three patina blouses well then I made another one, but it didn't stop at a blouse, I then turned it into a dress. So if you've seen on Instagram, I put the blouse in for the So April Blouse Challenge, but then I've now decided I don't want it as a blouse, I want it as a dress. So here it is, I will put a picture up so you can see me in it. You can also see that over on Instagram. I haven't 100% finished it yet, there's one button missing I think. But it looks like this. I went for really quite short sleeve. When you look at this sleeve, I've gone even shorter because I, I feel like the shorter the sleeve, the better for me. So I went for quite a short sleeve. Um, I definitely feel I need another button this time up here because this is the patina blouse without the collar. And it is the shorter version of the neckline. I don't know how other people can wear the longer one. For me, this is verging on risky already. So I've got to put another button in here to make it um, more suitable for wearing out in the world. And then I went for buttons all the way to the last, almost to the last bit, but this is a fake placket. So these buttons are just sewn on. So the skirt is a fake placket. The top is a real one. So these unbutton, I then join the skirt and top together. So the skirt is the my Sotis skirt hacked onto the shirt, the sleep, the collarless patina blouse top. But using Liz, the baker that sews it there, I then put a strap in, strap, belt, belt in to give it more shape because the My Sotis is designed to be very loose and it's over the head. To be honest, I don't even need to undo any of these buttons. I could just stitch it up. Um, it's, it's a bit nice to have that flexibility, but I could just stitch it up and go straight over the head. And I think so Heli, so Heli Jane's talked about how she doesn't even need to undo it. So I put these in to create more structure and, of course, pockets. So a little bit of work to do and then that's finished. And again, I lengthen the skirt like I did on this original Maya Sotis dress. The breeding. So that's what I've been making and uh, wearing this week. Let's do a little bit of shopping. So this time from So Me Sunshine. I love their label that says, thank you for supporting my small business. I did a little happy dance when you placed your order. There's no better reason to shop small, is there? You can make someone do a happy dance. Let's get them both out. I love the way they're fixed. Love this with a little bit of ribbon on here. This fabric I could not resist. Look at that. Look, look at it there. But it's a really interesting. It's like it's got like a texture to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's like, it's almost like a rib texture. So it's super flowy. It's not cotton. It's not stiff at all. I Look at that, look. So I'm very excited. How many meters did I get? One, two, three. I went for four meters. Look at the pop of green on there as well. So I don't know what I'm going to say yet. I did sew a pair of um, culottes last year and the fabric was too stiff and they didn't hang. So I think that'd be perfect in this. But just think about this in this fabric, how much drapier it would be. So I'm trying not to. I did try to do the um, the last sew is standing. The, like, what was it where you, I'll put the link below, but where you didn't buy anything and there was two levels to buy nothing or just buy, don't buy fabric. I failed. I mean, how could I not look at it? So there's that. And then who doesn't love a stripe? And this is actually stiffer than I thought it was going to be when I looked at the picture. So I need to give this a wash. This is like a linen and it's quite stiff. But if you saw my last episode, I showed a dress that they used the, the stripes in different ways. I didn't get as much for this because I thought I'd make a top with it. But it's a gorgeous summery 
stripe there was quite a few color variations and i went for the orange and now i'm thinking i might go for um another color with it i think it's genus gina i'll put her link in below but she's making a shirt with multiples of the same um i think they're from her stash or they were pillowcases but now i'm thinking do i want to do the same this has got a bit of stretch to it as well you know well this i was thinking just a nice casual easy summer top but now i'm getting other ideas and it is more structured than i thought as well so plans i'm going to finish the next myosotis which is a top and skirt separately love a bit of a co-ord and then i definitely want to make a myosotis in one of my me made nine fabrics it could look really lovely in um, that bright pink that i've got or the flower one uh, so that will be coming up that's one of my plans and then i wanted to talk to you about the this as well that i've got a bit of a plan for so i got this pattern which is m8145 mccall's and just let you see the back there i really like the picture but i did watch and i want to say her name is kittenish She's a, she does amazing sewing dogs and she did a sew along and talked about just how many layers of fabric are in this point here because you've got two from this side, two from this side and two from here. It was like six or possibly even eight and she said her serger just about coped with it. So I do wonder, whilst I love the overlap of going for view B or view C, I think probably view B because of the cast and it wouldn't be so many layers she also talks about how this sleeve doesn't finish how it looks in the picture it finishes how it looks in the diagram as well so it is super back wing uh, but it does look like a nice easy breezy sort of throw on with jeans throw on with all sorts of top and I've mentioned before by Grisalia and I had that um, amazing rainbow star fabric that I made into the uh, Stella joggers and jumper but at the same time I also got these two and again look at the the edge of this look, the selvage that alone has to be used doesn't it uh, it says mon cherie along the edge and bonjour along here well so for serenity she made a different top to that one in a fabric like this and it's got stars and apples and hearts on it i just feel that that made in that could work really well so this is like this is more of a t-shirt type jersey but then she made a t-shirt and i want to say, i can't remember who it was by it was a german company barra studios that's it and her t-shirt looked great so now i'm asking myself t-shirt this top or a t-shirt dress and i've got a dress that's got like a twist in it because look at that when when you do that i i originally thought and i made a toil of the joni dress because i love the till in the buttons when they use the stripe for the joni dress but you will notice if you watch my early videos, I don't love the Joni dress. I don't love it on me and I just don't love the way it looks. So I would be sad if I made it in this. So I need to go back to the drawing board with that. I do have a dress that I bought many years ago from Gap, which is like a stretchy fabric. And it has like an extra panel that twists across the front. So that's the other thing I could do is be brave and do a so recreate the look. If you've seen some of one of my previous videos, I had a uh, jersey dress on that I recreated from a vintage dress that had a raglan sleeve, so that would work as well. But I just want to think about how I work and use the stripe. I also got the green as well. I'll just hold it up so you can see it a bit better. So I have got that. And again, just think about that as that. I really love the idea of the playing with the angles of the stripe particularly the way it slopes down at the sides there and then across and then you've got like four different directions with the stripe which I really like the idea of. 
I love these fabrics they weren't cheap but they are really good quality and I might just have to bite the bullet and just do one of them she said the pattern was good but she actually kittenish behavior actually bought her sleeves up so it was more like this rather than coming from the bottom of the top it was a really useful explanation she had um I don't really have any jersey at the moment I could use to toil so it would be sort of taking a risk and going for it um I used all my toil jersey up on the joggers and the Joni dress so I really need to think but I don't want these just hanging around I really want to get on with making something and really enjoy wearing them it's very me I'm really looking forward to that so they're my plans for this week. As I've mentioned, there will be a video coming, uh, if not already, of my Me Made May thoughts. And then I will do a Me Made May update, or I'll put teeth in for that as well. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'm Sequin Girly over on Instagram, you'll be able to see sort of more updates of that. Coming really soon will also be a follow me along fix my wardrobe my summer wardrobe since I've had my breast reduction surgery so that it fits me and I'm comfortable with it there will be a couple of shorts around showing me sorting it out because it was quite a mammoth task I've been fairly ruthless and I found it really hard and I'm still um and gnarring over a few things um, but there will be a sale of my items and if you go over to me on Instagram I will put some of them up there I would just rather my clothes went to homes where people can wear them there's just no point me hanging on to things that don't look right or don't fit my body anymore I am a woman of the menopause and that means that my body is changing and suiting the shape that is me right now so there's just no point in trying to relive the person I was 10 years ago. It's just no, it's not worth it. So I want other people to love those clothes. So I will put that up on um, my Vinted. Vinted is, is always there. I've got things on there, but you can find that out on Instagram and uh, it's all there for you if you want to uh, enjoy some of my lovely clothes that I don't enjoy anymore. I can feel many more myositis is coming, mixed with the patina blouse, lots of shirt dress type things. I am thinking of a pencil skirt type one on the bottom, a bit like if you've seen my Make 9 update, which I did before, really loved doing that. Um, bit gutting when I was ironing and washing it yesterday, one of the buttons popped off, so I've got to stitch one of the buttons back on. But I did do 11 buttons, so I'm not surprised that happened, I have to say. Um, the weather is beginning to warm up which I'm really pleased about because I've changed over my wardrobe now to enjoy lots of my other clothes and I've got lots of sewing plans there will be some nice quick easy summer tops and probably some more shorts and I definitely want to do some collots I did a trial last year didn't love them so I need to think about if it was the wrong type of fabric and have another trial this year and I'm sure there'll be lots of challenges coming as well love it if you could like my video and subscribe i hope you enjoy sharing my creative journey with me thank you for being here and thank you to all the amazing vloggers and instagrammers who have inspired me i will pop a couple of people down in the description if you're looking for other people to give you inspiration to it is an amazing community and they are like my virtual friends and I do a lot of research before any of my sewing nowadays and I couldn't be more grateful to them for the inspiration they give me and the help as well when I'm researching and thinking about my next steps and listening to people's experience of the patterns but also they are a bunch of enablers constantly showing amazing fabrics they've bought and amazing patterns and trying to curb my spending is really difficult when I keep seeing such wonderful things that people are making. Have a great week and I will see you soon.